Hi Phil from Tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at this Marvo Scorpion M425G. It's a 3200 DPI gaming mouse with what looks like a sort of a unique design on it. Looks like reminds me a bit like the Mad Cat's logo to be honest, where you've got that claw mark going through. But uh, uh, but it looks pretty good, and obviously that's all lit up with RGB uh, or rainbow backlight, as it says, which to me means that the colours can't be changed. Uh, but we'll have a closer look at that in a few minutes. Uh, this has a retail price of basically £30, so that's not too bad. Some of the things um, to basically look out for on here, or the key features, it's got high profile design, which means it's high up. Um, advanced customization software, so you have got software you can download. I'll mention this. Uh, as I have with other Marvo products, we get it asked a lot on YouTube, is sometimes people have problems installing their software. If you do, download it from their website, extract it, and then copy the content you extracted into a new folder, and then it will install. It's basically because the, when you've extracted it, the file name or the folder length, name length is too long, and it gets confused. So what you have to do is copy the contents of the extracted folder to another location, not the folder itself, but the contents of the folder, and it will install. Okay, apparently you can switch between different lighting schemes, so we'll have a look a bit more closely at that. You've got rainbow backlight with multiple effects, four-step DPI switch, 3200 DPI gaming grade optical sensor. The, you can go anywhere from 1200 DPI up to that 3200. You've got seven programmable buttons, three million click rating and it's got a USB 2 cable which is one and a half meters long. So let's have a quick look at the box. Again, you've got that unique design. It says about rainbow backlight. You've got four step DPI, seven buttons, and it's programmable. On the back, it goes on more about the rainbow backlight again. You've got your four step DPI switch on the top, and then your 3200 DPI programmable button on there. So let's open this up. Okay, so inside the box you've got the mouse itself and your manual. The manual does give you information about how to install it and all the software and stuff like that, which is there. Just bear in mind what I said about that file name. Uh, the mouse itself does look pretty nice. Um, it has got that RGB effect on there, or rainbow effect is the best way of putting it. It has got a braided cable, as you can see there, so that's quite nice. The wheel does seem to be rubberized and it also lights up. Okay, it doesn't make it obvious from the manual, but it looks like the top button is actually just DPI and the bottom one changes the RGB effects. So depending on what you're wanting, so you've got preset RGB effects. Let's put it on something which isn't so in your face for the video. Okay, so all red. So as you can see, oh, actually it changes colours anyway. So as you can see, there's the RGB effects around these clearish bits here. The same on this side, and then obviously through that sort of rip mark on the top and their logo, uh, which is not too bad. You've got a left and a right button there, or back and forward, or whatever you want to call it on the left-hand side. There's nothing on the right-hand side. It does have a slightly nice effect on there. Um, sort of like, it reminds me sort of like a lever effect um, on, on the side, it's not lever, it's plastic, but, uh, uh, but it's got that sort of effect there. So, but otherwise on the bottom you've got three slide plates on the bottom, uh, which are there, which will stop it, or help it stop and sliding around on itself and make it nice and smooth to you, uh, to move. The weight of this mouse works out at 100 and roughly 16 grams so it's not your lightest mouse in the world but it is quite a nice mouse it's got it's quite sturdy and it's ideal for someone who's got a bigger hand like myself so um, that's again for something what's around the 30 pounds mark that's actually pretty good okay so let's have a look at the software so it's pretty straightforward once you've downloaded it you run the exe file and away you go if you have any problems installing it make sure you copy the installation exe file the setup file 
to a different location on your computer and try double clicking it and it'll probably work uh, we've had this issue with a lot of Marvo products uh, in the past um, but here's the software uh, I managed to get this installed fine on this model um, but the basics is you can see your programmable buttons there even though it says it's got seven buttons it's uh, actually uh, only got six uh, number seven is running light which will not let you change but if you wanted to change what any of the buttons did so for example the back button which is number five you can change it to be the right button a dpi a media button macro shortcuts and different things like that so that's pretty good so that's under the basic settings you can also change the DPI um, on here as well so you can adjust it to so when you press a DV, uh, DPI button on the mouse it adjusts it to a slightly different um, DPI than it's pre set up for which is pretty good um, but so you just click on it there and it changes it uh, but it'll only go between those four settings not between them you've also got a volume option there not sure exactly what volume does. I can't see any real thing it actually does unless it means the brightness or something like that. But um, it doesn't make 100% se uh, sense that one. Um, then you've got advanced settings at the top. You've got uh, basically wheel speed, uh, point of precision. And then you've got... Uh, uh, your macro there so you can create a new macro if you wanted so if you press new which doesn't seem to want to do um, let's relaunch the program just to make sure okay and name let's call it new Oh, here we go. So you have to name it first, then press new. Seems a little strange, but okay. Um, so once you've done that, you can then record your macro. So you press record, and then you type the keys on your keyboard. You want the macro, obviously, to run as. And then you press stop, and then save. So when you want to apply that macro, you go back to the basic settings, tell whichever mice you um, key you want. So we'll say the back button. You go to where it says macro and then you click on new and that will run that macro you've just created which is ideal for some games, MMOs and different things like that. Um, so it's, uh, it can be good uh, for those sort of things. Um, now you've got all these different configurations down the bottom. These are preset ones so if you want to have the buttons to be uh, set up slightly different you can do on there. You can import a file and export the file if you wanted to. So if you use the mouse on multiple different machines you can have exactly the same settings. But that is pretty much it. There's no option on there for changing colours or anything like that so the colours you get on the mouse do seem to be the colours they give you. Um, so unfortunately uh, that's it. And I've just figured out what this scroll and volume is here. It's obviously the wheel function. Missed that bit. So if you wanted the wheel to scroll up and down you can use the wheel. If you wanted it to be a volume you can use that instead and that'll change the volume. But there's nothing on there what I can see about changing uh, RGB lighting. So you're pretty much set with the four preset um, configured uh, colour options they give you.